Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we're Luke and Alicia. We used to travel in a Class C motorhome for the last three years, but we recently had our daughter Chloe, who's coming up to one now, so we upgraded to a 30-foot travel trailer. We're currently on a 100-day USA road trip here in our trailer. We're at Sand Hollow State Park, and we've got a whole lot of adventures to come in it as well. So this is our 2022 Jayco J Flight SLX 267 BHS Rocky Mountain Edition Baja Edition. <laughs> it's a mouthful, but she's a great trailer. So without further ado, let's go give you a tour of our new RV. Okay, starting the tour of our 30 foot Jayco on the front and here has a power jack. It makes that super handy when you're hooking and unhooking. Press of a button, you can go up or down. Helps you level really easy. Behind it, because we upgraded, we have two 30 pound propane tanks here. You can have it so it switches to use both at the same time, but we're gonna deplete the driver's side here first. That way when it runs out, we can still switch to passenger side barrel and we can have all of that time to refill the other barrel. Cause I got to imagine one barrel is gonna last us quite a bit of time. Behind the propane tanks, that is where our battery used to be stored. Our trailer came with a 100 amp lead acid battery. We actually upgraded to lithium. We have a few good reasons and we also have it stored inside. So we'll give you a little sneak peek of that later, but there will be a video coming out on lithium as well. Over here, this is our giant through hatch. Has tons of storage. We just keep our water hose, power cord. We also installed pegboard on the inside here so we can put hooks, baskets, we can hang up our drill, and then just the rest of my tools and handy stuff all get stored in there. Makes it nice and accessible when you need it on the fly. Like most trailers these days, comes with the giant power awning, press of a button in and out for you there. And it also has the LED light bar. Another thing with this trailer, cause we upgraded, the Baja package came with flipped axles. So it's got quite a bit more ground clearance as you can see. Also has big beefy off-road tires on it that are pretty sweet. And then also it came with these giant folding out stairs. They're sturdy, they have adjustable sliding legs with the press of a button on the back so you can get them right level to your site. And they're just so much more sturdy than say the Class C motorhome. We just didn't bother using those metal fold-out ones because they squish, they're wobbly. This is definitely the way to do it. Has an outside TV mount that we don't actually plan on using, but you can slide a TV on there. Comes with cable, outside plugins when you have shore power plugged in. Fresh water tank is here. Low point drain, you can open up the valve down below. That'll just drain your fresh water tank out completely to the lowest point of it if you're gonna be traveling. This RV as well actually comes with an 80 gallon fresh water tank. So if you plan on needing extra water or you wanna have the ability down the road to be doing more boondocking, maybe upgrading to solar as well, 80 gallons will take you a long way there. And then this, it looks like storage, actually not storage at all though. It's got a giant sink. It's got a storage container for all of Alicia's grilling utensils there. And then it's got a fridge here that when you're plugged in, at least to run the power to the fridge, you can keep milk out here, you can keep your eggs, keep your bacon, all of your good morning breakfast stuff you can keep outside. And then it has a quick connect propane attachment, which we switched all of our propane appliances, like our stove, we have a propane generator, anything propane. It all runs off our quick connect hose we switched everything to. Like this is Alicia's Blackstone grill. If you're a fan of Blackstone cooking or you want to see some good griddle cooking, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well because there's going to be a whole lot of good cooking here. And this giant grill is going to be seeing some pretty sweet action. And now walking around the back real quick here, basically everything is on passenger side that's important. So that makes it super easy for it to be in your campsite and not worry about it. Just plugs in the shore power on the back. Our Class C motorhome plugged in driver side, so that's a little different. This is where your hot water tank is to dewinterize and winterize when you take the anode in and out and also has a ladder on the roof. Jayco's roofs are supposed to be rated up to like 4,500 pounds or something like that. Don't quote me, but it's supposed to be a super durable roof so you can get up there, check your seals nice and easy. And then other than that, you jump around passenger side here. This is where the water connection is. It has an outside shower like every RV seems to have, just a nice simple pull down hose and the knobs. But you can see over here, look how big the slide is. We'll give you a bit more thorough example inside, but. That is so much room for extra floor space there because that's going to all open up the floor. This is our Ford F-150 we tow it with. It has the King Ranch package, which gives it a little bit more towing up. It has the brake control built in and that kind of stuff. But towing the 30 foot trailer with the F-150 has been really easy. We did the I-15 to get here and we were able to do like 110, which wasn't quite the speed limit. We were a bit slower still, of course. We did the semi-speed, but it had no problem keeping up with that. It had nice manageable revs. 
And I mean, it's been working great. And it's nice to be able to have a truck that you can tow a 30 foot trailer with without needing to go to like a three quarter ton or a one ton. You can just use a nice simple 150 and still get away with towing the trailer. And here is the inside of the trailer. It's so like compared to our motorhome, it's so spacious, so roomy. Chloe has so much room to move around, crawl, learn to walk. And one of the really great things about this trailer is that when the slide is in, it's still completely functional. You can open all the cupboards, you can open the fridge, you can get back to the bathroom and open the bathroom, which is really important for when we're on the road. But I'll show you what it looks like here with the slide all the way in. So obviously a lot less roomy, but like I said, if you are in a pinch and you need to have your slide in for some reason, or if you're stopped on the side of the road and you gotta make lunch or go to the bathroom, it's still fully functional, which is really great. Okay, Chloe, you wanna go for a ride? Let's go. Ready? Hold on, bud. So keep in mind, we've been in this trailer for like, probably a week now, so everything is not fully organized. Some of the cupboards are actually quite unorganized, but once I figure out an actual system for the RV and where things should go properly, I'm thinking I'm gonna put out a video on our channel about how we organize in such a small space here. We've got a couple hacks already that I wanna share with you guys, so keep an eye out on our channel for that. Anyways, we're gonna start in the kitchen here. First of all, the countertops are lovely in this RV. They're like this fake marble and they feel really nice. Then there's also this big sink. We have the cutting board area that goes over top to give you some extra counter space. And then this cool little drying rack thing. And I really love how big and deep these sinks are. It's really great for washing dishes. Then of course we've got all the basic storage. We have this huge cupboard up here that has all of our dishes and everything in it. And then some drawers down here as well for like silverware, cooking utensils, oven mitts, that kind of thing. Then of course we have the microwave up here and this is a Furion three range propane stove, which is so cool. It just looks like high end, fancy. I love this part here where it kind of folds up and then goes back there. And then it also has the propane oven down here, which is a really great feature. We didn't have this in our motor home. We just had the convection microwave, which I actually prefer having like less storage because instead of having like a drawer down here, we have the oven, but I really love being able to not be plugged in every time I want to use an oven. So really love having the propane oven there. Next up, because we got the Rocky Mountain edition of this RV, it comes with an eight cubic foot fridge, which is huge. I mean, it looks half empty, honestly, but our grocery bill would tell you otherwise. Also, huge freezer up here. It's really great being able to hold so much food in your fridge because you're able to go off grid and go boondock a little bit longer and not have to worry about, okay, I'm at the grocery store, my cart's full, are all of these groceries gonna fit in my fridge? And then beside the fridge here, we have a humongous pantry. Like, look at the size of that thing. We are currently storing all of our dry goods, a lot of Chloe stuff, all of Chloe's clothes are in this bottom one actually. All of our cookware, our pots and pans, our cutting boards, everything are up in this one. I really love all that extra storage. Now moving on back to the bunk a bit, we have Chloe's little bunk here. So what we did is we just put in this square playpen. Um, it was a huge pain to get in here if I'm honest and there's actually storage underneath her bed as well but we actually can't get to it unless we fully disassemble her little playpen bed and that's not happening. So whatever's down there is gonna stay down there until the end of time, basically. This is really neat though, because originally we had planned on putting like a baby gate here or something, just so she couldn't fall out of her bed, obviously. But we figured instead of installing some actual hardware, making holes and everything, we just put in this little playpen. It has a zippered door here. So it makes getting her in and out of it really easy. And then 
obviously she can't get out of that. She's been really enjoying sleeping in here, which is really great. And then these bunks are rated for 600 pounds each, which is crazy. And they're so spacious as well. You could totally have an adult sleeping on these bunks, no problem. Next is the bathroom area, which is a little unique. We looked at a couple of different floor plans and I definitely much preferred this version where you don't have to be in the bathroom to get at the vanity and the sink and stuff because it just means that the actual bathroom, like the toilet and the shower room, can be a lot smaller and take up less floor space. When you compare looking at this model, having this extra, I mean, you can't really do much in it, but just being able to see more floor space and having like the fully crawl around the space, it actually makes a huge difference in like how big the RV feels. So we have the basic medicine cabinet and then just storage down there. And then inside the bathroom, we have the full bathtub, which is great for cleaning Chloe up, and then a really nice shower head as well. So again, the bathroom area is very small, but it is nice that the bathroom isn't taking up, you know, a quarter of your RV. In the bathroom, I've also installed some command little stick-on broom clips that we can hold our broom and our mop in there, and then also a stick-on towel hook because there was no place to hang our bath towels in here. There was no like hooks or rods or anything, so we just decided to use a little stick on one and not put any screw holes in. So next up is the dinette and the kind of living area. We decided when we were RV shopping that having a dinette and a sofa was kind of a must. I mean, it's not very relaxing to be sitting at the dinette all the time, so it's really, really nice to have the sofa to kind of kick back and relax especially with Chloe too. I mean, it's just extra floor space, extra seating space. It's just a really nice thing to have for us. The dinette's pretty basic, but we did get this little high chair. It just clips onto the table and it's really, really secure. Like she isn't going Whoa. anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a really great spot for her to be eating and eat with the family. I'd originally thought that maybe I would put it on like over the seats on this side. That way we'd just have much more walking room here and it wouldn't be so in the way. But in reality, we have so much other room that it really isn't obstructive at all. And she loves to throw her food everywhere. So I didn't want her over top of our nice dinette cushions and getting food all over it. So we decided that this was the best spot here. So then next is the sofa. This is actually a jackknife sofa, so it just comes out really quickly and it makes into a little bed. Not a very big bed, but if you had another kid, it would be a great spot for them to sleep. And then there's also a ton of storage under here as well, which, I mean, there's so much storage in here. It's really great. Again, more storage up here. And then our TV area. When we purchased the RV, the TV, didn't have a swing arm. We thought that it probably would have, being that the TV is like facing this way, the couch is facing this way, but it didn't. It was just mounted on the wall and there was absolutely no way that you'd be able to watch TV at this angle. So we ended up buying a swing arm mount on Amazon. It was like $40, like so cheap. And it's one of the locking ones. So you just pull down on this cord and it comes out. Oh, bless you, buddy. And now you have a fully functional TV, which is really nice. And then just a ton more storage. And then this is our Bluetooth speaker system that works for the speakers inside and also outside as well. And then the last area to show you guys is our bedroom. The bedroom area, again, has quite a bit of storage. It has these wardrobes, which, I mean, every travel trailer has. There's hanging spots in this one and then just shelves in that one over there. It also has this upper shelf above the bed, which is great because I bought these square organizing boxes that fit perfectly up here. And we store all of our clothing in these bins, which is amazing because now these wardrobe areas can be used for other stuff like our tech and I don't know, diapers and stuff like that. Um, we do have some of our jackets hanging up in this one, but all of the rest of our clothing is up here, which is just amazing. And also in this RV, it has walk, well, I was going to say walk around bed, but you can't actually walk around the foot of the bed, but you can walk up the sides of each of the bed, which is a huge upgrade from our last motorhome. If you guys remember, we had a corner bed, which was such a pain trying to climb in the all night. So really glad that we have a uh, walk around bed in this one. And then the very last thing I have to show you guys is our under the bed storage.
So under here, we installed these baskets. I just don't actually know what to store in them yet. So again, we're gonna have to figure this all out and give you guys a full organizational video. But otherwise we have Chloe's playpen that we can take outside. And then of course, we have our entire lithium setup down here as well. Again, we're gonna be having a video come out on our channel soon talking about the whole setup and how we made the upgrade and everything like that. So keep an eye out for that as well. And that's gonna wrap up our Jayco travel trailer tour there for you all. Hopefully you enjoyed checking it out. It is so big and such a nice change for us compared to the motorhome. And again, being able to separate the motor from home, park it and have the truck to get around as well. This is going to be a great year of RV travel for us. Yeah, we're really, really happy with the purchase that we made and we absolutely love it. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this, if you want to see us traveling around in it, we have so much of the USA to explore and then all of our big Canada trip as well, plus jabbering with Chloe. <laughs> then be sure to subscribe to the channel down below and we'll see you in the next video. We're having two videos a week coming out for the next foreseeable future here, everyone. See you guys. Take care.